Hello folks, my name is Michael with Kiefler Lightning Protection. Showing you an example video of a lightning protection system. This is a 30 acre roof, 37,000 feet of roof conductor, 2100 lightning rods, 5,000 foot ground ring with ground plates, and 50 copper down leads from the rooftop down to the ground ring. This is an example to show you how these systems are put together. We sell these systems and a lot of electrical contractors install these so this video is helpful. So here we're showing an example of bonding a unit. This particular round unit has two lightning rod or three lightning rod bases on it. The unit is bonded in two places with three square inch bonding plates and the lightning rods are mechanically fastened through self-drilling stainless steel tech screws. All your fasteners for lightning protection should be stainless steel. You can see the nice sweeping radiuses to the main run of conductor. The main run of conductor and all the lightning conductors fastened every three feet with adhesive so there's no penetrations through the roof. Here's a painted unit. The paint is cleaned under the mechanical bases. Then you use a Nolox Deox um, electrical grade joint compound rust inhibitor to prevent corrosion and to assure a solid electrical connection from the air terminal base to the unit. Panning out here, we can see we also have two paths to ground to the main run of lightning conductor. And notice the, the sweeping radiuses, which are very important. No bend can be sharper than an eight inch radius. And we do sell an eight inch radius tool uh, that we've invented here at Kiefler Lightning 17 years ago. We've sold a few thousand of them. If you need one, give us a call. We'll make sure we get you that. Here's a bond to an electrical outlet riser. The legs to these chillers are bonded to the lightning protection main run of conductor. And as we go up here to the lightning rod bases, You'll see that these are mechanically fastened with tech screws. You want to make sure you pull these panels off to make sure that there's nothing, no wiring, no piping that you're going to hit. A lot of times that's right next to the surface of these panels. Here's a mushroom style exhaust fan. Two paths to ground, two bonding plates, electrical riser bonded, lightning rod mechanically fastened right to the top of the base with stainless steel tech screws. Again, notice the rate radius is very important. Here's an antenna. Uh, antenna doesn't need lightning rods. It's bonded. Antennas are considered sacrificial. In some cases, and lightning rods are required above the antennas by the owners or the FA requires that upon their air traffic control towers. Here's another mechanical unit painted. Again, the surface is cleaned under the base. Mechanical joint compound applied. You can see the three square inch bonding plates, nice sweeping radiuses, two paths to ground. And this makes it easy for the guy working on the unit. If you have conductor on these mechanical units and he has to remove it to get at, take the panels off, a lot of times they don't put them back together correctly. Here's a hydrogen vent with a dead end of conductor eight feet long. Then we branch off at the bottom with two paths to ground, air terminal mounted on the top. Here you can see some of the lightning rods on tripod braces we got right there. And notice the abrasion strip that's required for the roof warranty. Conductor fastened every three feet. Here's an example of a ramping up. You cannot rise the conductor more than three inches per foot. There's a short pigtail dead end to that air terminal because of the irregular roof line. Here's an example of the drawing. It's, it was hard to fit the picture in this video, but the black dots are lightning rods. The red lines are lightning conductor. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on on this roof. Now here's an example of a ground plate. The building has a ground ring. This is tinned lightning conductor, tinned copper conductor. 
The plate must be at least two feet from the foundation wall. Here we're about 10 feet out on this particular area because of underground utilities. And then this is backfilled in two lifts and compacted. And we did the building across the street there too. So we had two big projects here. And if you order materials from us, you'll receive drawings and tech support. Thanks for watching and be kind to one another. Thank you.